Welcome back everybody. This video is going to be my second attempt to make a spot welder. Uh, this time around, instead of using a battery, I'm going to try using the transformer out of this microwave. So here we go. I live just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, which is a really populated area. There's a lot of microwaves that come up on Craigslist for free, but I was never quick enough to snag one of those and I was trying for probably a month. So in the end, I did wind up paying $15 for this microwave. Now I specifically wanted to get a big one because I'm hoping that means that there's gonna be a big transformer inside. Inside the label here, 14 amps, 1,680 watts for the microwave. This transformer is three and a half inches tall by four inches wide. It looks like 10 and a half centimeters by nine centimeters. So what I'd really love to know from you guys is this the same size transformer that I, I could have found in just a small countertop microwave? Uh, anyways, now I'm gonna see about taking this out, which it looks like there's just a couple of Phillips head screws from underneath and this guy should come out. And so this is called the primary coil, and this is called the secondary coil, and this is the one that I have to take out now. So I'm taking this board out, and two of the wires come over here, uh, and that looks like a snap disc to me. And I don't need that snap disc, that would just be for overheating, I think. Well, I was finally able to get this wire uh, coiled into the transformer and it's a real tight fit. Uh, I wound up having to use some dish, dish soap in order to get this in here. And this uh, wire here is approximately one gauge. Uh, it doesn't actually have it printed on here, but it's bigger than a wire that I have that actually says two gauge on it. So I'm guessing it's a one gauge. I, there's this little uh, board on here and it has something to do with um, the magnetic field collapsing and what that can do and it's supposed to help absorb that. So I put a couple of uh, 
little wires on here. We're just going to attach these to the uh, primary coil, which is the 120 volt coil. This is a little safety switch, which was on the uh, microwave, right where the door locks in. So the microwave wouldn't power up the transformer with the door open. So it's a little momentary switch. Now I got to put a couple of ring terminals on the end of this. By the way, I cut this cable to seven feet total. I marked the center of it. And so there's some bound up in here. And what do we have for leads coming off? We have about 30 inches. Made them longer so that I can get them up on top of that big battery uh, to where I need them without having this thing dragging me down. I attached the leads to my aluminum electrodes that I made in a previous video. However, these tungsten tips that are on here are really beat up, and I'm not sure we're going to get any kind of good, uh, good quality weld with them. They need to be replaced, but they kind of welded themselves into the aluminum, or at least I can't get them out. So I'm going to have to make some new aluminum electrodes. But in the meantime, I'm just really excited to give this a shot and try it. Uh, put the plug in an outlet. And then we have this little momentary switch, and I'm just going to go click and see if we can't get a good weld on this. Here we go. Did anything even happen? Yeah, they, they didn't stick together at all. So let me move this around a little bit. All right, let's try that now. A little click. Nothing. Still not showing up as anything. So we have 120 volts. No? What did I do? Earlier, I checked it and I had 120 volts between here. And now I have 67. So, I don't know what's going on. Might have uh, blown something on this little circuit board, but I'm not getting 120 volts out of it anymore. Well, thanks a lot for watching this attempt at making a spot welder. I'll keep working on it and keep you guys informed as we go. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you very much.